hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is naku alute and you're most welcome to my channel however i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family and to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back guys so i'm back with another 20 series video and as you can see from the title of today's video we're going to be talking about how to stay motivated in your 20s so if this sounds like something you are interested in then stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you practical things i do to stay motivated in my 20s i know how navigating life and this whole you know adulthood thing in your 20s can be a bit um, stressful and um, frustrating and so these are things that i do to avoid feeling burnt out to avoid feeling you know overwhelmed and to avoid feeling that i'm not doing enough or i'm not progressing generally so my very first tip to stay motivated is having a plan so it could be you know a long-term plan or um, short-term plans um, I know how sometimes looking at your long-term plans can be you know a bit scary so I prefer to have short-term plans or short-term goals which will help you towards achieving your long-term goals or your long-term plans so short-term plans can be daily plans or weekly plans so you can actually you know have a plan for a day or a plan for a whole week and personally i've come to realize that on days where i actually write down like my plan things that i need to get done that particular day i actually get things done as compared to days when like in my mind i know i have a lot of things to do i know i have to do this i know i have to do that but then i don't actually like you know put it down on paper on those particular days i feel very overwhelmed because the plants are like scattered in my head and i don't even know where to start from but then when i actually put it down into writing like i list them down um in my notebook on the paper or like have a to-do list i actually get things done and it also helps me to you know stay organized so one of the main tips i'll give to you to stay motivated is to have a plan having a plan at least gives you some sort of focus and it helps you to stay motivated because you know that at the end of the day this is what i want to achieve and you've actually listed them down and there's some sort of satisfaction that comes with you know going back to your plan for the day or your plan for the week and knowing that you've been able to achieve you know plan a b c d on your list the next tip i have is to sort out your living space so um, the environment or the space in which you find yourself plays a major role in your productivity in the sense that um, the environment in which you find yourself can be you know a motivating factor to get things done or it can demotivate you uh, not getting things done so it actually plays a major role in you know being motivated and staying productive so if you find yourself in an environment where you like the environment itself depresses you the environment itself is not calm enough like you are not in a clean space obviously you won't have that state of mind to stay productive you won't have that state of mind to even be motivated to get things done so it's very important that at any given point in time you find yourself in a space where you know you are confident about yourself uh, you are calm in the space in which you are the space in which you are motivates you to get things done so if it means you know sorting out your your bedroom your living area your kitchen wherever it is no matter how small the space is make sure the space is you know calm relaxing and like it should be a space that motivates you to get things done a space in which like you can have a clear mind to think you can have a clear mind to make you know good decisions you can have a clear mind 
to actually stay productive so yeah sorting out your living space is one of the things that can help you to stay motivated in your 20s and you don't even have to do the most to be fair like if you want to sort out your living space i don't think you have to you know do the most or break the bank just some little little things can you know change your whole space and give it that sort of you know calm atmosphere that we are looking for in order to stay motivated little things like getting candy lighten them putting yourself in like a very calm mood waking up in the morning sweeping your living area sweeping your bedroom laying your bed like it can just you know transform your whole space and then put you in a place where you feel calm you feel motivated to actually get the work done my next tip on how to stay motivated is to surround yourself with positive people so in order to stay motivated you need to surround yourself with people that you can fall on or you can draw strength from on days where you feel like you know you are not doing enough on days where you feel very demotivated surrounding yourself with people who are constantly talking you down can be very dangerous however in as much as we need to surround ourselves with you know positive people who we can draw strength from on days where we feel like you know we are not doing enough these same people should be able to you know criticize us and correct us when we are going off course in order to put us back on the right track so you need to be able to differentiate between surrounding yourself with positive people that you can um, rely on um, to draw strength from and also be able to criticize you when you are going off course and the ones that would you know give you a pat on the back even when they know clearly you are going off course so you should be able to differentiate between these two because the kind of positive people we want around us or the kind of positive people that we we need to surround ourselves with in order to stay motivated are the ones that are you know very real with us the ones that would um motivate you when you are down or the ones that we can draw strength from when we are feeling very overwhelmed but can still criticize us when we are you know going wrong so given that you know constructive criticisms not the ones that are like just cheering you on just for the sake of you know good face my next step is to learn to celebrate your wins or learn to praise yourself so um as we said earlier on you need to have goals you need to have plans so on days where you feel like you know you've achieved a goal or you've been able to you know clear out an activity that you had as part of your plan and it's worth celebrating go ahead and celebrate yourself praise yourself be proud of yourself like if you are not celebrating yourself how do you expect somebody else to come and celebrate your win so celebrating your wins actually helps you know notice progress and it also helps to notice growth because at the end of the day you know that you've been able to achieve this and it's worth celebrating and celebrating them makes you or pushes you to even you know achieve more in order to celebrate and just as we have you know milestones on youtube i feel you should be able to have like real milestones in your life as well so if you are able to you know achieve something it's a milestone worth celebrating so no matter how small the win is no matter how small the progress is celebrate your wins like i can't stress this enough celebrate your wins um don't wait for anybody else to come and celebrate you celebrate them yourself be proud of you know your achievements be proud of the baby steps you are making in order to you know attain your um, long-term goals so never be afraid or never be shy to celebrate your wins you have no idea how celebrating your wins actually helps to stay motivated so make sure you celebrate your wins because you deserve it praise yourself give yourself all the credits commend yourself for getting things done commend yourself for you know the little progress that you keep making day by day so my last tip is to take a break when needed you know sometimes like you just feel so burnt out you just feel like nothing is going on for you you feel like you are not making progress and sometimes the 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 best solution or the best remedy is just to you know take some time off relax just yeah just take some time off to relax and in that period of taking some time off you obviously have some time to relax get your mind off everything and then you come back you know very refreshed 
energized and motivated to actually get things done so sometimes all you need is you know taking some time off all you need is you know giving yourself that break so yeah you can actually take time off to you know do things you love to do if, it, if it's you know traveling sightseeing or you want you know something very calm relaxing just take some time off have fun and then come back um more you know energized to get things done also during that period where you decide to you know take a break you can also use that period to sort of assess your life sort of assess how you know things have been for you try to figure out what you've not been doing right and then like what you've actually been doing right and what has been working for you and by so doing when you are ready to come back to work you come back more prepared and sort of you know with a clear mind and a clear plan on how you want to you know go moving forward so yeah take a break if needed um, it doesn't have to be you know after working for a very long time before you decide to take a break you can decide to take you know monthly breaks like anything that works for you as long as you have a plan it's perfect anything that works for you so if you think like it's necessary for you to take quarterly breaks um, monthly breaks annual breaks whatever it is that works for you all that matters is when it gets to that point where you feel overwhelmed when it gets to that point where you feel like you know you are bent out when it gets to that point where you feel like i'm not doing enough like what's what's up with my life then you know it's time to take a break so yeah taking breaks are very important and it helps you come back you know stronger motivated more energized than before all right guys so these are the practical things i do to stay motivated whilst navigating life in my 20s um, if you have any additional you know tips that you think we can do to stay motivated in our 20s or any additional practical things you do yourself to stay motivated in your 20s don't forget to drop them in the comment section below and if you found this video helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribing i would love to see all of us win i would love to see all of us motivated to actually you know get things done in our 20s and put in the work so don't just watch this video make sure you actually put it into practice to stay motivated and actually get things done because i know how you know trying to figure out your life in your 20s can be stressful frustrating at some point so yeah i hope these tips do help you and i'll see you guys in my next video